Hello guys, today I continue to study my simulation of the airfoil and uh, last time I have built the simulation volume and split it into simpler volumes so today I will continue with the meshing. Meshing is the second tool which we may find in the project. Just double click on this tool and will appear the quite powerful instrument which you can use for two-dimensional or three-dimensional meshing. Well, here I would like to define some options which will allow to build me a good and uh, high-quality mesh. Well, this is quite important because we would like to have a uh, accurate solution and we would like to have a stable solution. Now appear at this interface of the program I will uh, wait until the project loads. Well, it's there now. Here we can see again our geometry, absolutely same as we made in the previous tool. Here I already will uh, suppress one line body. This is the airfoil line which we do not need anymore. Well, we will work just with the surface body which was generated. Here we will define some options for meshing because by default if you will try to generate the mesh you will see some mesh not compatible or not good with the current task of the simulation. Mesh generation is working quite fast so we are able to see the result of the meshing. This is uh, this is the mesh without any options applied. We can see that the quality of the mesh is quite bad and the resolution is also not good. So we will start to adjust these options here. First of all I would like to define the distribution in radial direction. To make it possible, we will uh, first of all use the insert of the face meshing. Face meshing is a tool which allows us to orient the cells in appropriate direction according to the geometry of our volume. So I will select all the bodies by Ctrl A button and uh, apply. We have totally 12 faces. Here I will try to generate the mesh again, but it will not work because we did not set up appropriately all the options. So you can see that the cell sizes are really big yet. We will define the distribution of the cells right now. Here I will choose selection of faces and I will choose this upper part of my airfoil and the inside control volume, lower part and outside in front of my control volume. These six faces in total and I will insert here the sizing tool. So I can define for six edges the number of divisions. In this case I will use just 25 divisions. 25. If we will try to regenerate this mesh we will see that it was improved in the radial direction like this but in the other parts still bad quality. Well I will choose uh, my part back part of the airfoil and internal volume lines and also external volume lines I can choose by holding control button. like this. I will insert again the sizing and these edges I will split on uh, 40 divisions. This could work well. So let's see how the changes are working. You can see that it's meshing relatively fast. And now the number of cells 
is increased near the airfoil. Still we have some broken mesh outside, this is not a big problem, we will fix it very soon. Now I, now I select another faces on the back part of my simulation volume. After the airfoil there are totally 5 edges. I will insert sizing here and divide it by 200 divisions because this size is very long so I have to divide on more number of divisions because uh, I, won't, I would like to have more or less equal cell size on the trailing edge of my airfoil so I divide it with 200 here I will regenerate again we will see how changes are applied and we will be able to proceed to the axial direction definition of the sizes well let's see so mesh is divided on the axial direction now and now we proceed with the radial direction i choose these seven edges around on the bigger uh, volume around my airfoil and i will insert also the sizes here i will divide it by 40 40 divisions okay and uh, i will also select my inside part near the airfoil and also the exit of the control volume holding control button i'm able to select these lines here there are also seven edges as we may see here i choose the number of divisions and here i also put 40 divisions separately well let's see now how our mesh will look like definitely at some part it will be improved but still not so perfect to start the simulation. Well, here I put this number of divisions uh, such uh, a way that you can just accept as a suggestion. This is not a definitive value of the number of divisions because depending on the computational volume, shape of the airfoil, uh, general size of the volume, you can really adjust this number and receive better mesh. Now, I'm not really satisfied with the quality of this mesh yet because we can see some faces are really disturbed in my airfoil and the transition between one cell zone to another is very rapid which cannot be acceptable for a good quality simulation. So to fix this problem, I will use another tool inside every sizing. I will choose so-called bias. Uh, bias is the rate of change between two cells. So now we have no bias, so all our cells, they are more or less of the equal size. And if we choose some bias, we will be able to control this uh, rate of change. Well, for this external part, I will choose uh, not a big value, just let's say 35 for example I will be able to see schematic representation of this cell here I will choose for another for this external division also a bias and here will be let's say 20 Okay, we can see that some lines here are going differently with the others. So we will have to select them and to reverse the bias. I will select this line here and I will select this line here as well. Okay, these two lines. I select two lines. Now you can see that it's fixed 
bias and we can see equal distribution for left and right line here and for this horizontal line as well so and then the last but not the least quite important we have to choose the bias for the central part by the same way we choose that this will be our bias type and then we will see that we will probably need the bias equal to 50. Also, we can see some problems with the few lines here. And I will have to select a reverse bias for this line here, since it's uh, opposite with all my other lines. And uh, also, I have to check the exit. So here we also can see that this line here has to be reverse it I apply now I can see that all my cells are divided in a very nice way let's uh, run the meshing and then we will be able to analyze in general distribution of the cells so after these operations what we may see that the problem which appeared here in this zone already was fixed then when we zoom to our airfoil, we will be able to see that the mesh is looking really, really nicely. The transition from outside zone into inside zone is very smooth. And also we might find very nice change of the cell size uh, when uh, flow approaches to the airfoil. Well, this mesh looks nice. Uh, the criteria of the quality of the meshes will be defined later when we are doing the simulation. We will be able to see this quality mainly by uh, validation with the experimental data or with another analytical data. But uh, remember one thing that probably a good mesh will look nice. If you do not like how your mesh is looking, probably it will not work well. Also, you may use as a reference publications in the good journals or in the books where the numerical simulation is discussed and some meshes for the airfoils they are shown. They should look very similar to what we received here. You can see really nice and smooth transitions between all the zones of our simulation. So... From the long distance, we may find that our airfoil is a tiny small object in the middle of simulation and some cells outside of this uh, airfoil on a far distance, they are much larger than the size of the airfoil. This is quite normal and must to be like that. So on this step, I'm quite satisfied with the quality of the mesh for now. Probably we will need to adjust this mesh later when we perform some simulations and when we see the uh, real correspondence of the simulated data with our experiment. So next time we proceed to set up the options for uh, simulation and solution of the Navier-Stokes equation. Thank you for watching.